I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Today I'm going to show you guys the second secret for the Power Punching Secrets series. And today's secret is going to be implosive punching. So first let me explain what most people do. Most people use explosive punching. That means they're here and then they're spreading outwards. So they're exploding. And what it looks like is usually they have a, a compact stance, which is fine. And then from here when they punch, they explode into the punch, they go up and they go out, up, out. Now this way it works, it's powerful because you're directing all your power into one place. So you're directing all your power into the fist, up the legs, up through the body, into the fist. And it works, it's powerful, but it's not the most powerful way to punch. And there are some problems with explosive punching. First problem, if you explode, you lift in your, your base, you lift in your ground, you're gonna have less balance. I mean, anytime that you come up higher, you will have less balance. Okay, two is that if you throw your energy into your fist, that means you're throwing your energy away from your center. So here's my center, and if I throw my energy into my fist, I'm basically throwing myself off balance to land the power shot. It's also slower, uh, you'll find out why, and it also uses more energy, you'll find out why. So anyways, what I want to talk about is implosive punching. So implosive punching is kind of the opposite. Instead of projecting my force that way, or up and out, I'm projecting it in and down. Okay, so instead of this, where you get this kind of shifting motion, I actually project my weight to the center when I want to punch. Okay, my, my hand comes out, my arm comes out, but my power is going in. It's going into the core, into the ground. And when you do it this way, you have more balance, you have more power. And there's many more benefits, I'll go over them right now. So the first step is you have to ground, okay? It's always down, not up. Down, not up. And I'm going to show you, I'll demonstrate on this wall. Okay, if I'm here, and when I punch, I explode up, okay? And I push this wall, okay? This is what happens. The moment I lift, and I, okay? If I lift, I'm off balance. I'm basically throwing myself off my opponent. But if I go down, I can push. It doesn't look like it, but I'm, I can push the wall a lot harder. Up here, if I even touch the wall, I go flying. So if you want to transfer maximum power to your opponent, you need to go down. Okay, that's, that's, that's basic grounding theory, balance grounding theory. You have to go down. Now, it's not really to just go down. If I just go down like this and then push, I still, I'm still going to fall. So what you want to do is push as you're going down. So when you're punching, you're going down as you punch. And you don't actually have to go down, you just have to release your hips and then catch. Okay, release your hips, catch. It's advanced. Anyways, so the first step of impulsive punching, you got to go down. Second step of impulsive punching, you have to compact. You've got to think compact. In. So my abs, my stomach, my core, everything is in it, okay? When I punch, bah! think about your hand, okay? When you throw a hard punch, you're not going with a, a, a tight fist and then opening like that. You're not doing that, okay? You're going with a loose fist and then the loose fist slowly comes in and tightens right here in the punch, okay? And you want to do the same thing with your body. Your body is loose and then bang! and it's tight. When it hits, it's tight. And it's not just tight, it's not that I'm walking around tight and then, and then punching. I'm loose and then I'm tightening as I punch. I'm tightening as I punch. Okay, so just like the same way that you tighten your fist, you tighten your body. So when, okay, so again, you don't want to explode and, and throw your body up and over and, and, and just release it with the punch. You're going to release your balance. Keep it and send it inwards. Bang! Send it inwards. Here, here. Okay, so first go down, second go inwards. Now, once you start going inwards, you're going to realize that rotating is so much easier. Okay, because true, true rotational power is impulsive power. Okay, so I'm going to show you the two ways to rotate. Um, the first way, the less effective way, is to first is the, the explosive way. Explosive rotation is weak, and I'll show you. So say I'm in here, I'm winding up, 
and then I explode. It's weak. It's weak because my arms are out, my weight is out here, and I'm, I feel like the weight is pulling me from this end or pulling me from this end. It's easy to fall off balance. The, the faster I spin like this, the more I'm going to fall off balance. Okay? So it's very hard to spin fast this way, and it's, it's also kind of hard to, to, to balance. It's, to stand, it's easier to balance, but to spin, it's not really easier. Okay, now I can do the opposite. Instead of exploding, I'm going to do an implosive rotation. Okay, so implosive, I start with my hands out and then, all right? And this is how figure skaters spin. They start out here and then whoosh, they come in and they rotate so much faster. Because when you start out and then you pull in, it tightens up the circle and it tightens up your core. So when you punch, start out loose and then bang, just like that. It tightens up your core, gives you a much more powerful rotation a much more grounded rotation. So that's really the secret to implosive punching is to go in and down and to tighten your whole body. Now this kind of punching takes a powerful core. So if you, look, you don't have the core muscle, okay, you don't have the core muscle, then you can't use this method. How are you going to pull your body in? Alright, if all you have is explosive muscle, by explosive I mean Leg, you know, outward, the outside of your legs, outside of your arms, you've been doing, you know, this kind of motion, this kind of drills, okay? All this, this is all explosive. So all you have is explosive muscle, which is very easy to do because everybody has explosive muscle. Then, then the way you punch is going to reflect that. You're going to throw yourself off balance all the time. But if you have impulsive muscle, muscle that goes in like that, okay? So you have to build that. And you need to do a lot of core exercises. And when you do it, you're going to notice that you don't get tired as much. You're more powerful. You don't get tired because now your core, your stomach is taking, is this generating all the power. And the stomach is so much more powerful than the arm. You can, I mean, I can throw my arm a thousand times. My arm is just going to get tired. So I don't want to generate power with my arm. My arm is just here to be straight and then transfer the power. That's it. All my arm is doing, coming straight. The twist, the arm, the, you know, all Power is generated here. Generate the power here, connect. Generate the power here, tighten, ground, rotate, compact, whatever. And then just connect your arm to your opponent. So anyways, that's the secret to impulsive power punching. It's advanced, so give it a try. Try the technique and read the website for the full detailed explanation. Thanks for watching.